Hello, this is Ayobami Adeboyega Gospel Frames TV channel. I welcome you. On this channel, you have content that will help your marriage, your relationships. I'd like you to please subscribe to this channel, click the notification bell, like the videos, and send in your comments. God bless you. Amen. Good morning, Your Highness. What is it? <laughs> I'm just um, admiring the wonderful specimen God gave to me as a husband. Seriously? Yes. I'm so honored to be your wife, Femi Gomez. Thank you for everything. Oh, glory to God, honey. Eh? I'm also so honored to be your husband. You have not been a bad wife either. Thank you. Oh. I wish this marital bliss will continue forever. It will. In Jesus' name. Are you sure? Honey, what are you talking about? Everything has been working so smoothly in our marriage. And I just wish everything around me can be as smooth as my marriage. Ifemi. Yes. Why are you talking like an unbeliever? Have you forgotten the marital bliss we are enjoying in this marriage? It's not our doing. God has been the one directing the affairs of this home. We need not to be afraid. Remember, the blessing of the Lord make it rich. And had no sorrow. So you should not be entertaining these negative thoughts, please. Eh? All right. Thank mm. you. You know, I'm just so happy. I've never been this happy all my life. Mm. And I don't want it to end. Honey, it won't. Eh? As long as there is breath in my nostrils, I will just be by your side. Mm. And I'll be with you too. Mm -hmm. Always and forever. Mm How's -hmm. the spirit, baby? <laughs> Oh, God. 
Happy anniversary, my love. What? Oh, today is 23rd. Uh -huh. Our wedding anniversary. How could I forget such a date, eh? Oh my god. So Such dates are not to be forgotten. So it's been two years now and you've been my babe. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and it seems as though like we've known each other for so long. Ah, <sighs> God. So, babe, I think the first thing we should do is to pray, right? Yes, please. Wow. <laughs> I never still come over, baby. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, my baby. Father, we thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Blessed be thy name. Hallelujah. We return all the glory unto you. Thank you for those, Father, you have helped us. Thank you because if it had not been, your mercy would have been consumed. Good morning, sir. Good morning. Yes, sir. What's happening? Now, the acting and you. Mr. Tunditella? Yes. Why? He's trying to rearrange the whole office. Oh. oh. You know he's preparing to become the re-MD. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Yes, Is sir. madam around? No. Oh, great. Yes, sir. Great. Oh. Deputy <laughs> MD. Good morning, sir. Yeah, it's a... Beautiful Monday morning, isn't it? Yes, it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, ignore the mess. Yeah. I just had to make sure that the office looks sharp and neat. Once I'm confirmed as expected tomorrow, I'll do a lot more. Yes, I know you will. Hmm? I know. I, I know. <laughs> Congratulations, sir, in advance. <laughs> Congrats, sir. Ah, great. Okay. The boss lady called. Mm. She wants to prepare a bid for the water reticulation in Agbam. We are to submit Wednesday. Yeah, we are to submit on Wednesday. And um, I want you to give it your best shot. Huh? Have a draft ready for the meeting tomorrow afternoon. Tomorrow afternoon? <laughs> but Tunde, you know I'm still on the UNDP proposal. Oh, leave that to when. And face this. Um, the UNDP project is for charity. There is money to be made in this. Okay? Okay. Got a what? <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> As you say, my MD. <laughs> uh, that is me. Yes. I see. I can't actually believe I'm going to get that position. After all of IG's shenanigans. Which, which shenanigans? Never mind. <laughs> okay. Never mind. You get to work now. We we'll talk later. All right, my MD. <laughs> right. Hey, we. <laughs> yeah. MD. MD. Stella. Femi, even on our anniversary night. I'm sorry, I won't. You know, I don't usually do this. But it's just that the acting MD gave me a deadline which I must meet tomorrow. Hmm. Hmm. I understand now. Um, I'll soon be true. When I'm true, I'll take you out. Hmm? Okay. Mr. Teller, better be careful. Mr. Teller is going to be careful. <laughs> Again, but you know he's just trying to impress the boss lady before his long anticipated confirmation tomorrow. Ah, uh, no wonder. Don't worry. Take your time. I'll wait. Ah, take your time. <laughs> You're the best there. Yeah. I know, I know. Alright, you just go inside and change. Okay.
Yeah, baby. That was really fun. I enjoyed myself. It was honestly. I did enjoy myself with you. Thank you so much, darling. Thank you. Why are you thanking me? What for? <laughs> I knew today was a very hectic day for you. But you did not complain nor did you hesitate to take me out. And for that, I'm really grateful. <coughs> Honey, yes. today's our anniversary. I can't be too tired not to celebrate it with you. I know. <laughs> Thank you all the same. I know what I'm saying. Mm. What are you saying? Mm. Charis, my career best friend. Do you remember her? Oh, wait, that, that, Petit Charis? Yes, Petit Charis. Do you know she has moved out of her husband's house? What? Why? Hmm. Repeated infidelity from her husband. She got tired of putting up with it. So she moved out. Hmm. Sometimes I just wonder what men want. A woman will be godly, faithful, pretty, committed. And men will still do what they want. Hmm. If fair me. Yeah, baby. Why do men really cheat? Why? <sighs> Honey, honestly, that's a very tough question you're asking me. But, <clears throat> you know what? First of all, not all men cheat. At least I know I don't. I know you don't. And I don't intend to. But you see, from my observations, I discovered that men are drawn by sight and curiosity. Mm. And the devil is all out to just, you know, entrap men. Mm. However, being faithful is a deliberate decision by any man. And also, accountability to one's wife and the type of friend the man keeps is very important. Yes, I agree with you. But also feeling at the sight of red flags. Oh yes, you're very correct. But it's just that, you know, most men find it pleasurable until it is too late. Hmm. May God help you, me. Amen. God will keep any man that wants to be kept away from adultery. Mm, yes. So, are you ready for your presentation tomorrow? Ah, uh, yeah. You know, I'm born ready, you know. <laughs> I know. And then, are you ready for me tonight? <laughs>
Um, Femi, that was a beautiful presentation. Yeah, thank you so much, IJ. Thank, thank, you. You. thank you. Um, I hope you'll be able to effect the necessary adjustment before the final submission next week Wednesday. Of course, I'll get to work immediately. Okay, yeah. good. That's fine. Tunde, come with me. <laughs> So, Gloria, you know what? Please send me the mails immediately. All right, tell me. Yeah. yeah, thank Please you. Please <laughs> That was a very wonderful presentation. Thank you so Keep much. Keep it up. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. With him. Hey, yeah, so my God. Mind, you, don't, you don't do presentation. <laughs> <laughs> That's so <all> now. <laughs> nice, 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 Thanks, bro. Thank, oh, thank you. Thank you. I take her in those files. You know yeah. what? Now just go, though. Yeah. I know sleep, guy. I know. I don't sleep with one child. I tell you. Ah! Did, did you hear something? Yeah, I did. Did you hear something? I really cannot see. She would like to see you now. Femi, Iyawomi. Yes, darling. What shall I say unto the Lord? All I have to say is thank you, Lord. What has God done again? I tell you, this God is too much. Yes, he is. I still can't believe it. What is it? Just what happened? What, be coming down now. I've okay, always told okay, okay. you. Hey! <laughs> Let me see now. This God is too good. Oh. What? Mm -hmm. An appointment letter? Mm -hmm. ah, this is fantastic. Oh my God, I'm so excited. Oh, this is amazing. Congratulations, you know darling. What? You know what? Oh. Iaomi. Yes. Aridunumi. Yes. Ifemi. Yes. Ayomi. Yes. You are now looking at the new substantive mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. managing director mm -hmm. of the Zen Holdings Nigeria Limited. Oh my God, this is amazing. <laughs> hey, baby. This well, is, how? How? It is, how? It is God. I can't, I say, I can't explain it. Just, just God. Just God. God is awesome. I tell you this. God is awesome. My MD. Uh -huh. My MD. Uh -huh. The MD. Uh -huh. My MD. Uh -huh. ah. Eh, mama, Olora, I know you love her. She took a good one. I like it most of you. Sherry, be a woo, a tenderly lay a woman, you may jee. Be o she do mama, you want she bad way, only want she say. Then she beg be a yig be a wooty, o yato city, o de o me. A bobo complaint, ye son of a be a woman, she say for money. She be one and big be a year life. I want him to do it, Abi. So uh, if you want lock on Bali, hmm? Uh, Today me not issue wadi. Mori pe ani ani ati ya woman ni o gurege. So mama, olona ana ni lo. She tigbo. Anytime te bati lo be ke mu woman ye ke ke bi woman ye. Jesus afu ni logma ati o ye la ti she ke si mag badura afu an lo rekore. Yeah, I got a phone you, Mama. God bless you, Ma. Okay, Ma. Is she your Mama? Oda, Oda, Bo. Oda, Bo. Eba Miki, I want a Riley. Is she your Mama? Ah, ah. Congratulations, my brother. Just like that? Just like that, sir. I still can't believe this. Wow, wow. This is amazing. This is a miracle. Congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Daddy. 
this is what is called an uncommon favor. Yes. Wow. Yes, yes, yes. Sir. To think that the other day you were here complaining <laughs> about your delayed promotion. <laughs> and now that God has done it. He has even promoted you beyond your expectation. <laughs> <laughs> exactly, Daddy. Exactly. Uh, wow. See, my brother. Yes, sir. God's thoughts are far from our thoughts. Mm. His ways are far from ours. Mm. We just need to believe and put our trust in Him. Mm. See, this is just the beginning. God has so much in store for you. Amen. <laughs> Amen. And Amen. Uh, Brother Femi. Yes, sir. See, unto whom much is given, much is required. Hmm. With great power comes great responsibility. This is the time for you to be humble and be closer to God. Yes, sir. And the Lord will help you in Jesus' name. Amen. And please don't also forget that family comes before work. <laughs> Great time for your family. <laughs> All right, sir. All right, Daddy. Love Daddy, you. thank you so much for your spiritual guidance at all times. Thank God. Thank My God. wife and I are very grateful. Thank God. Thank you, sir. Thank Aisha. You, sir. Aisha. Ah, she's doing great, sir. Praise God. Praise God. <laughs> Daddy, yeah. please. I don't know if we can get a testimony slot for this Sunday service. There's no problem about that. Uh, you can see the King Sam. I think it's, it's somewhere around the church compound. Oh, good. Good, sir. <laughs> I will do just that. The Lord bless Thank you, my you, brother. Sir. Thank God you, sir. bless you. Amen. Congratulations once again. <laughs>
Baby. Yes. Baby. <laughs> I don't even know. I don't know what to say. <laughs> this is delicious. Tantalizing. <laughs> Titivating. Ah, ah. Titillating. Ah, ah. <laughs> Superfulious. <laughs> Fantastic and <laughs> Thank you. Ah. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Thank, Thank you. you. Okay. Yes. I met with um, Pastor Wright. Oh, that's nice. Earlier today. And also, I um, was with um, Dickie Sam too. Oh, really? Uh, we have been given a testimony slot for Sunday. Um, that's lovely. Mm. That means I have to buy new clothes. For us to wear that day. You feel me? Mm -hmm. We have started the game. Now. What is wrong with those clothes that we have inside? In fact, there are many other ones that you have not worn for a very long time. Excuse me, please. You are now the MD, mm. and I'm the MD's wife. So, we have to change our wardrobe. We have to honor God in our deeds and dressing. Hmm. Yeah, OMD. Yes. Just tell me you need an excuse to buy more clothes. See, whatever you say. Let me clear the table. Ah oh, man. Sunday. Mm. How was your weekend? Uh, my weekend was um, uh, well. Actually, it was not what I thought it would be. I'm sure you had a swell time. Well, I rest as much as I could. Mm. Mm. What can I do for you? <sighs> Actually, I've come to ask you a question and I need you to be very honest with me. What is it? What did she make you do? Ooh. You know who and what I'm talking about. What did you do? I still don't understand what you're talking about. Oh, oh. 
Stop playing dumb with me, Femi. You think I'm stupid? Oh, I was the acting MD. I was in line for a confirmation. But then, all of a sudden, without any feasible issues, I vetoes the decision and appoints you, my deputy, as the MD instead. She did not give me any reasonable explanation. I'm hoping that I could get it from you. <coughs> Look, I'm sorry, Tunde. I was just as surprised as you are. There is no other information to add to that. And you expect me to believe that? That's my truth, man. I served as your deputy for months with transparency and diligence. Why would you think I would betray you now? Hmm. All right. That's okay if you did nothing. But if you did, remember what they say. Karma has no men on. You get served what you deserve. I don't know what you're insinuating. But if we are going to be working together today, you have to get rid of all your suspicions about me. I did nothing, and I mean nothing, on two words to you. If you have any problem with my appointment, why not see the CEO and the board of directors for more clarification? If there are no more issues, I need to get to the work of the day, please. All right, MD. What are you talking about? What kind of a bank is this? No, 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 no. I need your manager to see me. Yes. Else I withdraw my funds from your bank. You're so incompetent. Oh, it's fine. Oh, no problem. Just tell your manager I need to see him. Yeah. Yeah. MD, good morning. Good morning, IJ. So, what can I do for you? Nothing much. I just came to ask if you've gotten the final draft of the Agbamo Reticulation Bid. Remember, you asked me to make some adjustments as requested by the government agency. Oh, yeah. I saw it. I... Oh, it's okay. And I already forwarded it to their email this morning. Okay, all right. Yeah. I saw your testimony. What? Yeah. Attended your church online service. And I logged in in time to watch you testify. Oh, wow. Really? Yeah. I'm happy for you. Your outfit was nice too. Thank you. I didn't know you do attend our church services online. Well, I have been attending your online services intermittently since you tagged me in one of your Sunday posts some months ago. That's cool. But I don't really appreciate being tagged on social media. But I take an exception to your case. Thank you. Um, in your testimony, you failed to mention something very important, though. And what was that? God 
did not do it. I did it. What? What did you think? That God came down and influenced the board of directors to rob Tunde Teller and give you the position. No, Femi. I did it. <sighs> Tunde, though competent, was becoming annoying and increasingly insubordinate. And you, on the other hand, have and will be my favorite. The future of this company is more secured with you as the MD. So, I needed you to work closer with me. So, I had to veto it. Well, thank you all the same. But I still can't understand why you had to do that. simple to understand but what happened to us I beg your pardon I hope you still remember that I'm a married man and how does that answer my question there was no us and there will never be an us look IJ if we are to work effectively together for the future of this company we have to respect our boundaries so please, drop that act. I need to get back to work. Femi. You know you're the only one that we allow to talk to me in this manner and get away with it, right? And that's because of the affection I have for you. talk like that, that means there's something serious. Talk to me. It's nothing. I'm just um, a little worried. Okay. Worried about what? It's about daddy. My sister called me this afternoon and told me that daddy had another relapse. Relapse? Wow. That's... Why are you just telling me? It's not that serious. And besides, you came back late. And I wanted you to rest. Come on, baby. It's serious enough to rob you of sleep. I can only rest well when you are fine. Honey, daddy's going to be fine, huh? Amen. Mm. I would like to go and see him, though. Uh, can you wait till Friday so that we can go there together? That's in two days, but um, no problem. I will just have to keep monitoring the situation of things over the phone. Meanwhile, the Bible says the effect of a prayer of a righteous man, I feel it's much. I'm tired, but let's intercede for that, yeah? Okay. Yeah. 
and let's pray father in the name of jesus amen we thank you Jesus. For your faithfulness over my father-in-law. Thank you, Jesus. Is my sister. Hello? Yes? What? Which hospital? Where are you guys? Don't worry, we are coming. What? We are coming. It's my dad. They rushed him to the hospital. Please, wow. let's go. Hello Mary, how are you? Hello ma, I am fine ma. Is the MD around now? No ma. By this time, did he call in sick? No ma. Okay, you know what? When he comes around, let him know I called his office four times. All right. That's unusual. What could be wrong? Hello Femi, where are you? I have called your office four times and Mary said you are yet to resume. Where in God's name are you? What? Oh, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. All right, where's the place? I said, where is the place? I'll be on my way. That's not for you to decide, though. I'll be on my way. Thank you so much, Ma. We are very grateful. It's okay. It's okay. Thank you so much, Madam IJ, for coming. I'm very grateful. No, it's the least I could have done in this situation. Ah, the least? <laughs> you upset my dad's dialysis bills, even when you didn't have to. <laughs> <laughs> Such kindness is rare. May God reward your generosity in Jesus' name. Amen. My dad has been in similar situation, so I know what it is. Besides, Femi is a valuable asset to the company. And the last thing we want is for him or the family to be in an unsettled situation. Um, if he had told me earlier, we would have done better. All right. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Honey, yes. please, can you give me a moment with my boss? Oh, of course, let me quickly go and see Daddy's nephrologist. All right, I'll see you in a jiffy. Thank you, dear. Thank you for everything, IJ. But you didn't have to come yourself. You could have sent your PA. 
Since when did you start telling me where to go and where not to go on my own? And did you have to pay for his dialysis? I was already on top of the situation. Oh, I know you are. But a little help from your boss does not hurt, does it? Come on, don't be ungrateful. I did all I did from a pure heart. Pure heart? All right. What is it you wanted to tell me at the office? Oh, I almost forgot. We were going on a trip. We have been invited by the Federal Ministry of Environment to present our proposal for the Agbamo reticulation project in person. We are presenting the day after tomorrow. And as the MD of Zen Odins, you and I have to go together. Alone? Yes, alone. What is it? Do you have any problem with traveling all alone with me? No, no, but I thought we were supposed to travel with some other few team members. No, so it's okay. The company cannot afford to be wasting that much on Esther Code. See, do I really need to go with you? You know the situation with my father-in-law's sickness and all. Do you expect me to leave my wife like that? Are you seriously telling me this? If one of your subordinates tells you what you just told me now, will you find that as a tenable excuse? Please, get your head back in the right place. We leave very early tomorrow. And... My regards to your lovely wife. Is that my little <laughs> angel? Let me see her face. Chai! She really took after my beauty just like the first one. Ah, 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 ah. Or, or mine. Am I not the one with the dominant trait in our son? Eh? Says you. <laughs> just because she took your dark complexion does not mean you have the dominant traits. Ah. <laughs> Uche, my son, tell me, who does the baby look like? Mommy, 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 I think the baby looks like my wife and I, you know, uh, and, and just like, just like uh, uh, a brother. So that's what I think. Answered wisely. Adefila <laughs> Uchenna. You are the true son of your father. But by the way, where is your wife? Um, uh, she, she, she's, she's currently taking a nap. Oh. Okay. I'll regards to her when she wakes up. Good afternoon, Dad. Good afternoon, Mom. Hi, Jay. How kind of you to join us? Uche, your sister is here. Hi, Uche. Hello, sister. How are you? I'm fine. How is the UK? Well, UK is fine. It's just that it's quite cold. Oh, I see. Anyway, mommy, when should we be expecting you? Because we are really very overwhelmed here. <laughs> okay, I'm having problem with my passport. Mm. You know all these immigration people and their wahala. Mm. I think I should join you in a couple of weeks. Okay, okay. Let me, just let me know how it goes. Mm. Go, mama. That's me. <laughs> Since you vehemently refused to get married and have children, I don't have any choice than to continue my Omugo right there in the UK. Mom, I have told you times without number that I'm not interested in getting married. <laughs> Ever. Go to your room. That's what you do <laughs> all the time you talk about marriage. Hmm. Uh, Uche, 
you really have to talk to your sister. She's not getting any younger, you know. Hmm? She's not. Um, Daddy, I'm, I'm trying. I'm trying my best. Hey, hey, look, try Ada. Hmm? Well, you, you know she won't actually listen to me. She's older than I am. And mom, you, you know, when she needs to listen to anyone, she listens to you. Good, good. Uh, thank you for zeroing me out of this uh, listening equation. Eh? No, now, that is not like that. Anyway, mommy understands what I'm talking about, actually. Yes, I do. I really do, my son. Well, I'll try and speak with her, but that will be after our conversation. By the way, why do you people call your baby by an English name? What happened to the native name we gave to her? Y yes, yes. We named her uh, uh, Similoluwa Chiamaka. Why are you people calling her uh, Anastasia? What? Ana Ana Anastasia. Anastasia. Hello, sir? You heard me, eh? Ma? Hello? Can you hear me? Don't do that thing you used to do. You heard us loud and clear. Yes. Okay. Daddy, mommy. It's just the name that Karen and I prefer to choose as first name. You know, it's just that people around here will be able to pronounce the name very well. Stop it. This is inferiority complex. The people over there learned how to pronounce uh, Asian and European names, East European names. They should also learn how to pronounce our names too. Eh? Look, you shouldn't throw away your identity and your culture just Ex because you're in a foreign land. Exactly. Eh? Those are the only things they cannot take away from you, my dear son. Hmm? All right, sir. All right, Daddy, I've heard you. Thank you. Thank you very much, sir. Hey, Anastas can you imagine? Anastasia. And I what? And I was in any other. To fear. Jesus. Anastasia. What's the problem? Nothing. Ifemi, you know you're doing this again. Talk to me. Everything will be alright. I trust God. Amen. But you're scaring me right now. What is it? Is it about daddy? I want to go back to work. Okay. But where is this coming from all of a sudden? I see you working so hard every day. You wake up early in the morning and you come back late at night, especially since you became the MD. Now you are traveling again. And I'll be left alone at home till you return. It just dawned on me that you'll be traveling a lot from now on. Okay. What are you trying to get at? I'm tired of working from home. And I've not had a proper job since the unfortunate incidents that rendered my online business redundant. I feel like I'm becoming a burden and liability to mm. you. I can't even boast of my own money anymore. <sighs> I need a 9 to 5 job. Okay, I understand you perfectly well. I pray God will grant us wisdom to go about this your new desire. But then, can we talk about this in details when I return from my Abuja trip? Okay. Honey, you know I don't like seeing you this way. Eh? Stop worrying now. Yeah, smile for me, baby. <laughs> All right, let me quickly finish up. Okay. I hope this goes with this. Yes. Mm, nice. No, I'm looking at you know this one.
Didn't you hear me knock? I don't want... I'm here so that we can talk. Oh, so now you want to talk with me after embarrassing me in the presence of the whole family? No, please. We're only looking out for your interest. Uche is married with two children. He's your younger brother by four years. This is worrisome. IJ, if I do not know any better, I would thought you have aversion for the opposite sex. You know I don't know. Then what is the problem? Have men not been coming? They have. Then what is it? Oh, wait. You are being very picky, right? See, let me tell you something. There's something they used to say in my place. The Patrick Bed said to her children, feed on yam, but also feed on roots, so that when the owner of the yam come to harvest his yam, he could survive on the root. Mom, that's not it. Then what is it? I'm not just interested in getting married. I used to be desperate to get each by a man. But one after the other, they came into my life and they almost ruined me. Most of them are gold diggers and I am fed up with them. There's no one except you a pescatarian who does not like a soup with fish in it. But then, Size and time wait for no one. You have to be decisive. I also have many toxic relationships in the past until I met your father. I did not even want to give him a chance in the first place because he's Yoruba. I'm Igbo. But look at it today. God has given me a godly man and a godly home. IJ. If you shut your eyes to the world because of the evil people in it, you will not know when a good man passes by you. And that's the truth. Mother, I hear you. But I'm no longer interested in getting married. I assure you, if it's children you want, don't worry, we we'll have them. How? Just wait and see. What are you trying to do, Ijawa? Don't do anything stupid. If it's children you want, you Explaining to you, you will have to round off those figures to give room for force majeure. Wait, where's Tunde? Tunde? Good morning, sir. Good morning, Gloria. Yes, sir. How are you? I am fine, sir. Madam has been expecting you. Oh, is that so? Yes, sir. <coughs> Yeah. 
Is there anyone with her? Yes, sir. The MD. The MD with her. Thank you. Yes, sir. All right. Thank you. You're welcome, sir. of you to finally join us, Tunde. Good morning. Um, good morning. This traffic was terrible this morning. I'm sorry. Come to think of it, I passed through that same route on my way down here. That road is always a nightmare. Whenever there is a heavy downpour, the government needs to do a major overhauling on that part of the road. Or maybe the company can make it part of its um, community social responsibility for the next day. <laughs> a whole federal road? No, 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 no. We're a profit-based business and not a charity organization. Even NGOs are no longer non-profits in the real sense of it. <laughs> Shine your eyes, Femi. The world is not an idyllic heaven. Back to what I was saying today. I pass through that route every day. And I have never been late to work. The bad road is not an excuse for you to come late to this type of meeting today. You should be more responsible than that. I'm sorry. I was just going through the final details of the proposal with Fermi. Good morning. Fermi, good morning. Well, as you know, we have a 9 a.m. flight to catch up with to Abuja tomorrow. So, I need you to keep the company running effectively. The two of you are going alone? Yes. Do you have a problem with that? No, not at all. It's just unusual for only two senior executives to embark on such an important trip. And just because we used to do it like that in the past does not mean it is right. I looked up our recurrent expenditure with the finance department recently. And I noticed we are spending more than necessary on extra codes per annum. We can do without those excessive bonuses right now. Besides, there is nothing any other person will do on that trip that both of us cannot undo. Right? Yeah. So, we don't need to travel to Abuja with the whole of our administrative department. It's not a vacation trip. <sighs> All right. You are the boss. Oh, yes. I am the boss. So be it. What additional details do you think we should add to this document? The blizzard, a wind of change, a strategy of the devil to destabilize your peace. Never get stuck in the blizzard of fun. It takes away your joy and happiness. The blizzard. Blizzard, the blizzard.
Mommy, thank you so much for coming, man. We really appreciate you, man. It's not in my sister. I'm just happy that your father is responding better to treatments. Uh, mommy, it's a miracle, ma. Mm. We're so scared that the worst will happen. Mm. But we prayed and God answered. Yeah, that is why an old son says, prayer is the master key. We should never be too tired or discouraged to pray. What we see is the physical. There are a lot going on in the supernatural that we cannot perceive naturally. The only thing we can do is to pray to God, the only one that can fight our battles for us. Thank God. Mm. Thank God. I believe my husband will be happy to receive the good news. Yes, ma'am. It is well. Yeah. Yes, ma'am. How far have you gone with plans for the uh, transplant? The doctor said we'll commence preparation for the procedure as soon as we get a donor. That's all right. It's my prayer that the Lord Almighty will take control of the whole procedure Amen. in Jesus' mighty Amen. name. Amen. Let me be on my way now. Yes, sir. Thank you. I still have a meeting in the church. Johnny message to Brother Femi. Thank you, Ma. We are so grateful, Ma. You are welcome. Yes, ma. Bye, Ma. Stabilize your peace. Never get stuck in the bizarre of fun. It takes away your joy and happiness. The blizzard, the blizzard, a wind of change. Friend, thank you. Come to speaking. Welcome on board. Uh, morning service from uh, in Rory to Abuja. All the uh, Done with boarding proceedings shortly, closing doors, and uh, we are on our way to Abuja. Expecting departure from runway 05, and uh, in a northerly, north easterly direction. And uh, after departure, expect a right turn uh, direct to Abuja. First officer Philip with me on the flight deck will be flying us into Abuja this morning, and he'll be speaking to us and give us an updated flight status in a cruise and weather on ground Abuja. Uh, sit back, relax, and enjoy your hospitality. <laughs> A wind of change, a strategy of the devil to destabilize your peace. What are you doing on your I'm just checking some of our old pictures. Us? No, I meant my wife and I. Oh, I said. Can I ask you a question? Shoot. As your friend now, not as your boyfriend. IG, we are not friends. So, what's the nature of our relationship? You're my boss. Nothing more, nothing less. But, you call me by my first name. That's the company's policy. And besides, you told me not to refer to your CEO that you prefer IG instead. I see. So, you're not ever going to give it anything? It? No, IJ, please, let's drop this. We've gone over this again and again. I believe something was going to happen in the past, but it never did. Now that I've moved on to something beautiful and special, you are now coming with your strong advances. It's not cool, and I'm not comfortable with it. But why, honey? Are you no longer attracted to me? I'm a married man, and I don't have any intention to cheat whatsoever. See, it's against my faith and principles. This is how simple it is. At least, you never stated that you're no longer attracted. Are you kidding me right now? Maybe I should just... What? You want to change it? Don't even dare. I am still your boss. Sit still, Mr. Married Man. 
Look, I do. I know you're in dire need of a serious relationship. Says who? Is that written on my forehead? It's written all over your actions. All you need to do is just to move closer to God and give other men a chance. I have tried that and it has never worked. And see, I don't intend ever getting lost. So don't even go there. Then stop flirting with me. Flirting? Is that what you see it as? Besides, who are you to even tell me how I manage my feelings? No vex, but am I Jane? It's not your fault. Oh. I'm feeling sleepy already. You should get some rest. Sorry, sir. I had to quickly finish up Madam's itinerary with schedules. All right. Yes, sir. Welcome. Thank you, sir. So, what do you have for me? Ah, nothing, nothing, sir. What do you mean, nothing? Sir, honestly, there has been nothing beyond the usual. <laughs> you know how she is. Uh, I know how she is. All right. Now, Gloria, tell me, the decision to make. Femi, the end ahead of me. Was it from the board or she fitted it? I want to know. Honestly, sir, from what I know, I think she convinced the old board member that Femi was a better choice, sir. Hmm. Um, no. Uh, do you also think it's a better choice than me? Honestly, sir. I don't know. I don't know, sir. What do you mean you don't know? For me, sir, I am in support of the progress of the company. Uh, even at my own expense? No, sir. That's not what I meant, sir. Oh, I know what you meant. Um, who got you this job in the first place? You, you, you did, sir. Oh. Don't bite the fingers that have fed you. Now, give me the detailed information about what the nature of their relationship was and contact me whenever there's something concrete. Huh? All right, sir. Uh, uh, wait. Uh, has he ever gone on a business trip without you? N not exactly, sir. Oh, so this is the first time? Yes, sir. <laughs> Reduction of unnecessary expenses. Anyway, you can get back to work right. and uh, behave yourself. Keep flying under the radar. All right, sir. <sighs> Thank you very much, sir. <laughs> Each of my takes me for a fool. <laughs> I will show her that I'm not here in this city to cut bridges. <laughs> Ah. Oh.
Hello, IJ. Hi. Hi. What do you need? Please, I need you to come to my room now. What for? I need you to bring the copy of the bid form with you. The bid form? I already forwarded the scanned copy to your email. No, I need a hard copy. Okay, IJ. Can you give me a few minutes? I'm trying to wrap up the PowerPoint presentation. No, I want you to come now. Don't keep me waiting.
Stop and go. Now small something. Now small something. That's what you did talk, Jared. 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 That's what you That's what you did talk, Jared. That's what you did talk, Jared. That's what you did talk, Jared. That's what you you did talk, That's you did talk, That's you divide at the end now, you can't leave your finance and then you no, round it off. Hey, hey. Guys, are they come? Are they come? Oh, when did they come now? Oh! oh. Ah, this is a jail for See, hey. see, this is like, just shoot your shot, you get? Hey. You might not have. Exams are over! Hey. Exams are over, guys! Give it up. I know, I know. Wish me luck now. Ah. Wish me luck. You see me? Ah, bad guy! You see me? Bad guy! Bad guy! Bad guy! Bad guy! Bad guy! You like this guy? Bro, bro, too, too much. Too much. Too much. Oh, this guy almost. Hey, 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 hey. Ah. I told you to stop disturbing me. I'm not interested. Leave me alone. I'm not interested. Don't, you're disturbing me. Hi, Hi Femi. Hi, Can you imagine the adventure of this guy? I don't imagine how he thinks I was so so low to date him. Anyways, where have you been? I've been looking for you. I was with my guys. How was the exam? It was great, thank you. Thanks for your tutorial. I'm really grateful. Well, thank God. I'm really happy these exams are over now. Uh, why? I thought the whole um, challenge of making 15 points was your greatest driving force. Yes, that and something else. Uh, what, what else is it? <sighs> There's something I really want to tell you, but I don't know how you will react. Oh, come on, Femi. We're good friends. Good friends should not be afraid of opening up to each other. Are you sure? Yes. You know what? Never mind. Femi, I'm going to be cross with you. Don't ever start a conversation with me if you know you're not going to finish it. Can I finish it some other time? When? Exams are over and we will be returning home. So when do you want to say it? Say it now. But having seen the way you dismissed that other guy, promise me you won't be angry after hearing what I had to say. And your case is different, I cross my heart. Alright, IJ, anytime I see you, butterfly runs through my stomach and anytime we talk, I have goosebumps all over my body. See, you, you are the omega of my heart. You are the foundation for my conception of love. And I think we really have something we can explore together. Tell me the poet. That wasn't so hard to say, was it? Interesting. Interesting. Yes. So why did it take you so long to say this? I I held my feelings back all this while because I didn't want my feelings to get in the way of our exams. Okay, my dear poet, since you really want to know, I really, really like it too. I've liked you since the very first day we spoke in class. That was the reason why I allowed, allowed you to get close to me. And apart from your brilliance, of course. Wow. What? I never knew you liked me also. I thought you were going to play out get. No, me Femi. I don't hesitate to go for what I want, unlike you. We've been best friends for months now. Why would I waste your time for that? So what's next now? Uh, we'll take it slow and see where it lands us. We're still very young, so there's no need to rush things. Okay, cool. Since you're the poetic type, I can as well start calling you Femi. Do you know what that means? Yes, it means my Femi. Wow. Okay. So I'm finally get to say I have a boyfriend now. What do boyfriends and girlfriends do though? Well, they talk a lot and there's nothing they do that we've not been doing as friends except to give each other more attention, affection and some other things. Seems like what? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. <laughs> You're very funny. That's why I like you. You're very smart, interesting yeah. and fun to be with. Yeah, well, that's why I'm your family. Call me that name again. Femi me. Call it again. Femi me. I like how it sounds. Let's go now. I like the way you call my name. Hey. Hi. It's been so long. How are you? Femi, I'm not fine. <laughs> See, I have to pretend like I was going to buy some noodles in order to leave the house. If my mother does not see me in a few minutes, she'll start becoming suspicious. I have some bad news. What is it? Unknown to me, my parents no longer want me to study here. 
So while I was back at the IGMB Centre, they had made plans for me to go and study at a university in the UK. I'm supposed to travel down to Lagos in a couple of weeks, and that's where I'll be till I leave for London. <sighs> wow. This is shocking. <sighs> but congratulations all the same. I'm happy for you. <laughs> but I don't even know what they'll say. Honestly, I don't want to go, but I'm really powerless in this situation. I don't know why they would do that kind of thing without my knowledge. What will happen to us now? I don't think there's any need to be worried though. I'll make sure that we always communicate. Ha! <sighs> wow! Yuki, long, long.
Yeah. Uh, Femi. Femi Gomez. Yeah. <laughs> I thought it was you, right? Hello, IJ. Oh, sorry. Madam CEO. <laughs> Come on. IJ is okay. How are you? It's been ages. Yeah, it goes without saying. Yeah, yeah. Ah, it's really good to see you. You're looking good. Mm. I mean. Thank you. You ain't looking bad either. When did you arrive at the country? Or have you been around? No. I came into the country a couple of weeks ago. I came in when my dad insisted that I come take up the vacant position of the CEO. Oh. Well, it gives me more freedom to work, unlike my job in the UK. <sighs> Anyways, I'm not complaining. I, I didn't know you work here. I never knew you were Chief's daughter Hida. Oh, you know Chief is a private person. <laughs> oh, you're right. You're right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <sighs> so good to see you. So what's up with you? Are you married now? Engaged. Oh, congratulations. What about you, IJ? Well, I'm still single. Um, uh, sorry, please, I... I need to go now. I don't want to be late for service. Hmm? Service? Church service? Yeah, church service. Oh? <laughs> don't tell me you are now one of those born-again Christians. I am. With my full chest. <laughs> oh. Okay. All right. Sorry. So good to see you, Madam CEO. You're welcome. Thank see you. you. Honey. Yes? I want to leave there in all days. What? I want to leave there as soon as I can. But why? I didn't know it's going to be like this. <laughs> Come on, Femi. Is it because of the stress? I thought this is all you've always wanted. You mean I've always wanted stress? <laughs> no, no. That's not what I mean. I mean that you've always wanted to be a top tier executive in a company like this. And now that it's here, do you want to throw all that away? Honey. Yes? IJ has been mounting pressure on me to have sex with her. Femi, you don't understand. What don't I understand? You think I don't know? What do you know? Wait, give me a few seconds. You have a problem. I know you have a problem with traveling and all. And I know you don't like anything that frequently takes you away from our home and the church. But if any, you know the nature of your new position. And you have to get used to it. You have to try and get used to it. Because if you quit now and you get a new job, do you think it will be less demanding? Hmm. I hear you. Better. God has finally given us a breakthrough and you want to throw all that away? Please, stop it. Eh? Stop it, please. Yes, madam. Thank you. My MD. 
my one and only MD. See how Madam IJ and all the staff are taking care of us. Oh. Where do you want to get that kind of welfare package? Where? Ah, all thanks to God, though. <laughs> it's God. <laughs> That's mm. IJ woman. She's very nice. God bless her. Oh, amen. She's very nice. <laughs> Um, Pastor Mrs. Wright came by the hospital a few days ago. Wow, that's very nice of her. Yes, and um, the Singles Fellowship, they brought a letter, they brought a letter for us. What do they need? Um, they want us to speak at their next monthly meeting. Yes. The both of us? Yes, the both of us together. Wow, that's, that's good. But, oh, okay. let's not forget. How is that fearing now? Um, it's a lot better now. Oh, great. I hope you will be fit for the transplant procedure in a few weeks. Hey, man. Oh. Oh. Honey, you are tired. Let me get you a glass of juice. Oh, that's my way. <laughs> <sighs> Good evening, Mom. I couldn't sleep. What's the problem? Are you suffering from jet lag? No, I don't think so. Then what is the problem? Come on, my daughter. Can I ask you a question? Oh, go ahead, my daughter. I'm all ears. When your soulmate is married to someone else, what can be done to make him yours forever? Here! Yeah. Baby. Dad is really looking much like his old self. Yes. What's wrong with you? You don't seem excited. I'm excited that my father's health is getting better. It's just that I have this feeling that... Honey, the power of life and death lies in the tongue. You don't pronounce what you don't want. You know what, baby? Just relax eh? and let God finish what he has started. I believe he will. But since I've been having this feeling, can we pray about it? Yes, honey. Yes, we can. But please, can it wait till I return back from work in the evening? I need to get in the heli. <gasps> Boy, it's just 7 a.m. now. Why are you in such a hurry? Sunday has been the one in charge since I traveled. Do you understand? And now, I want to be kept abreast with every information, everything happening in that office. Before IJ arrives this morning, you know she can be very unpredictable. Oh, I see. Please go. This is not the time to get on the wrong side of that wonderful woman. Alright, thank you, honey. What time do you want me to come pick you up? Um, 5 p.m. But if you are going to be busy, just let me know on time so that I can be on my way. <laughs> Again, I'm going to be there by five, don't worry. Mm? Okay. Again. Right. Honey, please. Take care of yourself. Eh? I will. For me. I love you. I love you too. Already. Bye. Yeah, bye bye.
Good morning, Tunde. Good, Good morning, morning, Andy. You are here earlier than usual. Is that a bad thing? No. It is just surprising. Is it? I do come early, but today I decided to come earlier than usual because I need a report of the happening at the office in my absence. Oh, uh, okay. Okay. IJ is also resuming to office today, and I believe that the report is going to be the first thing she's going to request for. Mm. All right. I will send it to your mail and copy the CO. You can do that. But now that we are here together, can you give me a verbal brief? Oh, all right. Um, first. I want to ask you something. What is it? Man to man. How did it go in Abuja? Oh, you mean you need a report? Oh, no, 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 not that. I am referring to you and I. Okay. Ah, don't lie. Did you guys have a lot of fun? Fun? Fun, yes. I mean, the two of you were alone since no one was watching you. Oh, was there a lot of fun? I beg your pardon. Ah, <laughs> relax. <laughs> Answer, Answer my, my question. question. How can you be asking me such a thing? Because I know she really fancies you. I see the way she looks at you and the way she behaves around you. You two traveled um, alone for an official assignment to Abuja. And she obviously refused to hard appeal to the entourage. Isn't that a source to you? She did that to reduce cost. <laughs> Don't tell me you believe that crap. Oh, look, man. We both know that she deliberately wanted to be alone with you on that trip. You are the only one she has a soft spot for. Except for me, of course. <laughs> you mean she has a soft spot for you? Oh, of course. <laughs> now I see where this is coming from. You obviously have a thing for her, don't you? Oh, it's the other way around. Mm. Just so you know, she once made passes at me and I refused her. She didn't take that rejection kindly. And I guess that was why she filled the appointment and gave it to you instead. Uh, so, Tunde, say no more. It's too early for this kind of nonsense talk. I will let this slide and pretend as if I never had. Just because I don't want controversies nor scandals. But please don't mention this to me again. All right. All right. You are the boss. But as a self-professed Christian, oh, it would be too bad for you to have to sleep your way to the top. Are you being serious right now? Do you have any evidence that I've been sleeping with anybody in this office? What's up with these baseless allegations? I need you to be careful with these allegations. And even right now, you are becoming insubordinate to your superiors. I apologize for that. But well, you have not answered my question. Look, Tunde, I have the prerogative to either answer the question or not. I am a responsible married man who doesn't have interest in kind of frivolities. You are being really insubordinate right now. Uh, I see. Can I have the report now? All right. Which one do you want first? Operational? Or finance. Operation. All right. Um, the day you left. Femi, come with me. All right, thank you.
What do you want me to say? That I'm sorry? You're not even remorseful. You almost injured me. For that, I'm sorry. But you went too far. Come on, I only wanted you to take a look at me. Be sincere with yourself. Was that all you really wanted? Don't ask me a question which you have the answer to. Look, IJ, it's not going to happen. So stop trying. I'm sure there are a million and one good men out there who would happily agree to become your lover. But for me, I have crossed the Rubicon and I'm not returning. Femi, there might be a million and one men out there, but there's just one soulmate. And Femi, you're my soulmate. Really? The soulmate you ghosted for years. While you were in the UK, not even a single call or message. I'm sure that I've been completely erased from your memory. Not until that day you resumed here and saw me. You wouldn't understand. I don't even want to understand. And to top it all, I'm not the only one you're pursuing. What? Even to Nitu. To. You even went as far as vetoing his appointment just because he rejected your advances. What's up with you, IG? Me? Femi? You mean me? What's you doing there? That's preposterous. What? Who told you that? I don't have the liberty to reveal that to you. Wow. Well, Femi, if you care to know, Sudi has been making passes at me ever since I got into this company. He tried to force his way at me at the last Ghana night. And I slapped him. And that was the day I made up my mind that it would not be the next substantive MD. Tell whoever your source is that he is very misinformed. He says, she says, obviously. What? Never mind. See? Sunday is not the only one making passes at me. Do you know the number of government officials and other powerful men that have been wooing me ever since I returned into this country? Femi, the number is uncountable. I am that much of a hot cake, but in your eyes, I am nothing but a flap cake. You don't just undermine me because you know I like you, but you're also joining the gossips in spreading false rumor about me. You are very ungrateful and childish. So you call me childish because I rejected your advances. You are also a brute. You pushed me so hard in that hotel room. And I wonder why I didn't even get injured. I got to do what I got to do. Then I should file a battery charge with the police. Then go ahead. Can I leave now? There are a lot of work to be done. Okay, you know what, Femi? I'm sorry for what I said. But please, can you just do me a favor? And I promise not to disturb you again. What do you want? Have sex with me just once. What? Really? Are you sure about this, Gloria? Sir, I am 100% sure that that's what she said, sir. <sighs> what was his response? Ah, I didn't hear that part. I did not hear that part, sir. Hmm. Hmm. My instincts have never failed me. Mm. Ah. I had always known there was something between those two. Mm-hmm. Sir, it appears that they have asked something since when Madame started schooling abroad. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. That is the part I don't understand. Now, I need for you to find out what the nature of their relationship was back then. 
All right, sir. I'll do just that. Hmm. Gloria. Yes, sir. Let me advise you. Choose your role models carefully. Hmm. There are many people like IJL out there that we look up to that live very shady lives. Hmm. Many of them did terrible things to get to the top. Hmm. For you, keep working hard and maintaining loyalty. <laughs> the sky is your starting point. Well done. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, sir. But I have something to ask you. Uh, what is it? There is this passage in the Bible that my mother always quotes. Hmm. I think it is in the book of um, um, Leviticus, sir. Ye shall chase your enemies, and they shall fall before you by the sword. And there is this Yoruba that just says, Kakake kuma jesese, afi shower down. What are you getting at? Sir, attack, they say. It's the best form of defense. Instead of waiting for Madame IJ and Mr. Femi to make a mistake, why not attack them head on? How? It is simply by taking their matter to Oki Majesty. Remember, Uncle Fabadi's shrine is still there. <laughs> ah, Gloria. <laughs> That's your Uncle Fabadi. Hmm? Anna, isn't that extreme? <laughs> you are too peaceful, oh. <laughs> It is a dog eat dog world, sir. If Mr. Femi eventually falls for Madame Heidi, they will become much more difficult to stop. <laughs> Agreed. But I'm not a dog. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> this girl. <laughs> I fear you. <laughs> Are you not an usher in your church? Oh, sir, th that is the way the world works now. Mm. <laughs> anyway, it is past lunch time. Let's get back to work. Alright, sir. <laughs> yes, sir. Sir, what about my proposition? <sighs> How wonderful of you to join me at the table this morning. I figured you would need company in mom's absence. Yes, you're right. That's very thoughtful of you. Uh, by the way, have you called her since she arrived in UK? No, not yet. But I spoke with Uche yesterday and he said she's fine. Yes, you see, I know she's fine. But I want you to talk to her directly. You see, Ijoma, stop living like a recluse. Dad, I'm not living like a recluse. Then what is the problem? Eh? Ijoma, I have been watching you since you returned from UK. You have changed. You are not the lively, jovial girl I used to know. What has happened to you? Daddy. Nothing happened. I'm fine, sir. Hmm. All right. Um, tell me something. I used to be your favorite human being when you were much younger. But there is so much uh, emotional distance between us now. What is going on? Dad. I cannot be the little IJ forever. I guess it has to do with growing up. Hmm. Or oh, is it about Clara? Clara? Oh, Dad, that is in the past. Are you sure? I am sure. You think I will lose my peace because I found out that my cosmate in the UK was my dad's side chick. Hmm. 
I was angry, but got over it quickly. I hope this scandal has not made you to lose trust in me and in men generally. Dad, you are my father. You will always be my hero. And nothing, no scandal, will ever make me stop loving you. Thank you for that. But you have not answered my question. Look, for Laramie, stop playing smart with me. All right, Daddy. What exactly do you want me to say? That me finding out about your numerous side chicks made me detest men. <sighs> no, Dad. I don't detest men. But I detest an institution called marriage. I feel it's a man-made prison designed to restrict man to do whatsoever he pleases. <laughs> Dad, you're a handsome, rich and powerful man. It's a free world. Is it not better to be free from the shackles of marriage and hang around the many women that surround you than to be married and be cheating? I see. I think I'm beginning to understand you now. But you see, marriage has deep and spiritual advantages. Dad, gone are the days when that used to be the mantra. What is the point of living together with a spouse in pretense and in misery? But I have been genuinely happy with your mom. Oh. But if you truly were genuinely happy with mom, what were you doing with the likes of Clara, Pamela, <sighs> Lara, Fumi, and the number of those I can't even remember? <laughs> it's enough. Look, look. Um, I know I made mistakes when I was much younger, but it's all in the past now. I'm sure mom is still not aware. And we will keep it that way. You have done well by not telling her. Now that you have made me talk, what else do you want me to say, Dad? I think you've said enough. Uh, I now understand you better. At least you have not lost your fire and feistiness. <sighs> But have you ever wondered why I brought you back home to Nigeria from UK against your wishes? No, Dad. Why? Your single-mindedness. You see, at that time, Zen Holdings was suffering from lack of focus and innovation. I was getting ready to retire from work and uh, we needed somebody who is bold and courageous. And I thought to myself, why look for water on the palm tree when water resides in the coconut? Ijoma, you are a very bright and focused girl. And you have a wonderful career ahead of you. But you see, I want you to be very careful so that you don't lose the other essentials of life because of your career and uh, because you are angry with me. My dear daughter, please have a rethink. Alright dad, it's fine. I need to go get dressed for work. Oh, that's right. There's no problem. Um, by the way, how is the new MD doing? It's fine. Fine? I mean, it's very astute, bold and courageous. Alright. Um, I saw the reports he sent in and uh, they were very impressive. Um, what can we do to encourage him to keep on improving? I want you to think about that. All right, sir. I'll do just that. Good. Have a great day. 
And you too. Good afternoon, sir. Good evening, sir. Oh. Good sir. Yeah. Good evening, sir. That was an interesting session back there, sir. Thank you. <laughs> Good, sir. Thank you. Um, are you two together? Yes, sir. Oh. Uh, my name is Sonia, and she's Radike, my fiancé. Ah, congratulations. Thank you, sir. <laughs> what can we do for you? Yes, sir. We found your story quite inspiring. Oh, great. And uh, we, we have been so blessed. But time was not enough to ask you a question that has been burning in our hearts. Oh, we have some time here and we trust God to help us to answer them. Please go on. Thank you so much, Ma. Thank you, sir. Sir, I work as a fashion photographer while my fancy is uh, a marketer with one of the commercial banks. Yeah, in my line of work i meet quite a number of women i mean beautiful women at that while my fiancé get to meet a lot of affluent and flirtatious men and we want you to please counsel us on how to avoid infidelity after we get married hmm. all right uh you know, as a top corporate executive myself, so. I understand what you're saying. So. I know that the fashion and the banking industries does not have a foolproof to sexual immorality. Mm. I hope you know being married does not impede temptations. Yes, sir. Excuse I know, sir. sir. Uh, please come, 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 brother. brother come. God bless you. God bless you. Uh, sister, you didn't even respond to that question. Are you a shy marketer? I know, sir. Good. From my experience, you see, faithfulness in marriage is not only down to personal effort, but you do have a huge role to play, the both of you. Hmm. First, you need to understand your individual weaknesses. Hmm. What are you vulnerable to? Hmm. Is it what the highs see? or what you allowed into your mind. Once you identify them, ask God for fortification mm. and avoid situations that put you in trouble. You need to develop a strong self-control. Mm? Even if everything is permissible, not everything is beneficial. Mm. <sighs> Secondly, you need to set boundaries with your colleagues and identify the red flag before it is too late. Hmm. Thirdly, you need to be accountable to each other. As you see me, I do tell my wife just about everything that happens at my place of work. Hmm. Never let anyone outdo your spouse in respect to your love language. Hmm. Communicate effectively. Hmm. If you don't tell him, who will? And the same goes for you, young man. Hmm. Lastly, pray for God's grace. Hmm. You know what Apostle Paul said in the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13? Hope on it. First Corinthians chapter 10, verse 13. So, there are no temptation taking you, but such as as is common to man. 
Mm. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but we with the temptation also make a way to escape that ye may be able to bear it. Self explanatory. Mm. If I may. Yeah. A part of the Lord's prayer says, Lead us not into temptation, mm. but deliver us from evil. Mm. Mm. So you see, faithfulness in marriage is a function of self control, discipline, and God's grace. Above all, focus is key. As you see, my husband, I know what he likes and what he doesn't like. Hmm. He's even too focused on his career and his family for him to be distracted by opposite sex. Hmm. That is why I know he can never cheat. He's able to focus for that kind of nonsense. Hmm. Yes, I believe we have been able to answer your questions in our own little way. Ah, yes. Sir, you have done more than enough. My daughter is full. <laughs> Thank you so much, sir. I saw you jotting. Sir. That's good. Ultimately, putting all what we have said into practice is the most important thing. We will, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir and ma. You're welcome. Please don't hesitate to approach us for further questions, okay? Yeah. Thank you, ma. Thank you. God yeah, God you. bless you. God Amen. bless you. Amen. Um, even though we are running late for another engagement, before we go home, I'm being led to pray with you. Thank you so much, sir. Can I say a word of prayer? Yes, sir. Yes, Baby. Sir. Yes, sir. Father, in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Jesus. Honey. Yes. Are you that tired? I'm exhausted. Okay. Sorry, dear. Thank you. You know what? Just try and undress. Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> no worry. I just want to make us dinner again. Let Chef Femi Gomez handle it tonight. No, don't worry. I have rice in the fridge. I'll just microwave it for us to eat, okay? All right. Um, today's meeting was very interesting. Yes, it was. There are so many questions in the minds of today's youths. They won't get answers to these questions if the church does not pay attention to their needs. Yeah, you're very correct. Honey. Yes? Did you mean all you said today? <laughs> I said a lot of things. Which one exactly? What you said today, I waited couples we cancelled. That you believe I will never cheat on you. Oh, that. I meant it. Why will you cheat? You won't now. Precious, I am human. This one that you've called my real name is really serious. So should I be worried? No, Abba. Talk to me, Ifemi. Honestly, there's nothing. Whenever you say that, that means there's something. <laughs> so now you want to turn the table on me, Abby? It will work. Honestly, there is nothing to worry about. I'm just amazed that you trust me so much. If I mean, I promise never to let you down. And I mean it. Thank you. I know you won't. I'm so sure. It's just that like you scared me for a second there. There is no fear for a child of God. Exactly. <laughs> Yeah. What about our pending discussion? Which one? About me getting a job. Oh, that. There is no problems, you know. I'll just call one of my friends that works with the Ministry of Commerce. Okay. I learned that they have openings or something. Oh, thank you so much. Yeah. You are the best. Ah, uh, say it again. You are the best. <laughs> say it again. You 
are the very no, best. I more vibe now. <laughs> <laughs> you are the best. All right. I'm the best. Don't be. 